How's it? I'm Xen from the Cicleus. Welcome to the launch of our new CD, Last Dance with Sugar Plum Ferry. Be entertainment. The direction we want to take for this album is quite different from the first two. The first two we went for like a very noisy, wall of sound, sonic youth, underground sort of vibe, you know. And for some reason in South Africa that's quite weird. Overseas, it's, not, it's quite middle of the road to do that, but like, yeah, people like look at it from this sort of angle. So, not just that, like, I myself wanted to challenge myself in terms of songwriting and do stuff a bit differently. So, the big difference, obviously, is the songs being much shorter and like more to the point and like less is more sort of approach. And um, I think we've created that. Fans will be, they'll be pleased to hear the album as it is. It's like very punchy, it's very rock and roll. It's, uh, it's got a bit of punk, it's got a bit of epicness, it's got a bit of sleaziness, so it's all there. When we looked for a producer for the album, what we wanted to do is, like, for the first two albums we used the same producer, and I, I just felt like it was time to get some new blood in, like new ideas, new creativity and all that. And I asked around and Daryl's name came up, but I already had him, had him in mind for some reason, because I heard Severin Giraffe's album, you know, and I wanted something from that sound. Not exactly, but something in that direction, you know, and I liked the production he did on that. And luckily enough, when I approached him, he said he was very interested, and um, yeah, we did it. The title for Last Dance of the Sugar Plum Ferry came from, I read it somewhere in the book, the title, like the whole sentence, and I just thought it had like a brilliant ring to it. And I, I kept it, and as time went on, it sort of became like the title for the album. Um, for me, Last Night of Shaggy Plum Theory basically means it's a case of like anything that's nice in your life or that you really appreciate or not, or that's really close to you. It could be like a last dance. Like you can, it's a case of being appreciating what's going on in your life or people that you work with or things that you do or functions that you have. And those things can be taken away. So it's a case of like everything could be a last thing the last time you see it as it happens. So just appreciate people and stuff around you and go every day full out to the best you can. When we looked for the artwork cover, like we had no idea, like literally like it was the 1st of January, which is pretty much like two months ago, and I had no idea what we were going to do. And then um, I met Sean through some of the live gigs we did, he took some awesome amazing shots of us, and I asked him whether he wouldn't be interested in doing something for us, and he said yes, he's, he's got an idea of going to Namibia and taking a few shots there. So he went on a trip, took lots of infrared shots. I said to him like infrared is like, should be the theme of the album cover artwork, you know. Here we are with the album cover shot, aptly named Last Dance of the Sugar Plum Fairy. It actually came to me while we were in, in a, um, a group of three hot air balloons over Sosa's Flay in Namibia. The balloons were literally performing a dance as they go up to check the wind at different altitudes. There was this amazing dance happening between the three balloons and um, I could see on the viewfinder that the, the um, results were going to work and uh, just kept shooting. Um, what you see here is what looks like clouds, or in fact, is in fact um, grass that has grown on the dunes because they had rain for the first time in 50 years over Sosa's Flay. The eerie sense that you get from this is something I pick up in the music a lot, and that's um, something I immediately knew would work. Um, XT and also the brief beforehand was um, a sense of mountains. Uh, a lot of these songs have a theme of ascending mountains, and there's even a song called K2 on the album. Namibia doesn't quite have mountains that high, but I think the eerie nature of these mountains and the light around them was, was going to work. Gigs no coming up for us in the next month or two is we're playing Ramfest in Joburg at Emma Rentia on the 6th of March. 
uh, which is going to be amazing. We're playing quite early in the afternoon, playing I think half past one-ish, so be there if you can. And then uh, we're also going down to Natal in April for Splashy Finn, which is going to be amazing. So I can't wait for that. First time we're playing Splashy, so check it out.